has been stated that you are a fan of converter. <laughs> yeah. Your use of non-percussive noise could at times be described similar to Japanese noise. Oh yeah, totally. When it comes to overload of sound at extreme volumes and or the extension of repetition, um, is there any influence from that scene in particular? Well, I, I guess I would... Yeah, Mersbo would yeah. be the, obviously the biggest, but we're probably more influenced by power electronics acts than more like J Japan noise stuff, mm -hmm. only because I'm just not that familiar with Japan noise sure. stuff. Like, I've heard it, and it's fucking rad, but I'm just... I'm just this is news to me. I don't yeah. know Japanese... <laughs> you didn't need, noise, yeah. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. When, when the hell did they figure that out? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Booker that one night, and there was that one Japanese act, that guy that came on. I don't remember the name of the band at the time, but you introduced me to them, and he was just tearing that shit apart. It was, I think it was him and Operative that were playing that night, or no, it was ADR and him that were playing that night. I don't, I don't recall exactly what what it was, but but yeah, no, like just palatronic acts like like House Rafna, Deutsch, Dutch Nipple, as <laughs> as this guy likes to call him. Condom. <laughs> Extremely obscure, like death industrial and power electronics stuff. Stuff right. that there's not even records for. It's just like free online giveaway stuff, and some of it's just it's gold and just inspires some of the, the more genocide dark. organ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah so. This guy writes amazing death industrial. Yeah, too. yeah. So we're we're we we use that influence in the music as as well. So you have no problem delving into what some would consider dark ambient. That moment of terror from your 2009 album, A Silent Mantra of Rage. Uh, which melts into the beast is an example but still keeps the same high assaulting volume utilized would you care to discuss influences and or ideas behind the works like these oh yeah well i mean we we love dark ambient stuff i mean that's definitely like i and, and it goes it goes it goes with the power electronics thing too mm -hmm. because it's it's very similar and, and it adds a dynamic to the album that way it's not just a, from front to back solid relentless assault yeah, you have yeah. a little bit of a break right. and it gives us an, an, an opportunity to express different types of emotions mm -hmm. and yeah and, it shows and our, not just from front to back exactly and and our dream is to do movie soundtracks horror movie soundtracks and whatnot nice so we want to put a little bit of that out there yeah. as, as well while many can denote a certain track by the samples you use within it, there are times that you could have someone sampled saying something like, I love Bambi, and the dance floor would still keep going due to the infectious rhythm. Would you right be a myth buster and explain how, the typical, how you typically structure a song? What comes first, is it the uh, chicken or the egg? Oh man, it's 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 different every time, every single time. There's there's never like a, a preset structure that we use. It's just we sit down in front of the computer or gear or whatever and just start jamming really, and then and it turns into a, a full track. Right. So, yeah. Sometimes uh, a sample inspires a track. Sure. Right. And then a lot of times, you know, of course, it's just a matter of a you know a track needing a sample. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and honestly, uh, there's been several times where I've been trying to enjoy a movie with Shane, and a certain, I'm not going to name the tracks on the album, but that part of the movie came on, and he's like, all right, we got to pause it, he samples it, and then he goes to start writing the track, and I'm like, can we finish the movie? <laughs> he's like, no, man, I got to write this track for the album, that, that sample inspired it, and, yeah. and it just, there's so many ways that this man writes music. The inspiration yeah. takes hold, and you just have to write. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. lots the of inspiration hits. You got it. You got to just take it. Yeah, never yeah. let it just drift away. You got to do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Yep, definitely. Knowing that you're an avid gamer, and given the chance, what game would you love to redo the soundtrack for? Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> redo the soundtrack, dude. A lot of the yeah. games. Oh man, that's a that's a. That's a tough question, man. I'm going to guess Super Mario 2. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah, no, if Spyro the Dragon. Yeah. Oh, fuck Spyro the Dragon. I worked on that fucking game. <laughs> um, God. There's been... 
I mean, I think I could have maybe upped Dead Space a little bit in certain certain areas and whatnot. This guy could have killed Dead Space. But that it did have a fucking amazing soundtrack, so... God damn. The, oh, the Silent Hill soundtracks are phenomenal. I, I couldn't top that. No. Couldn't, couldn't do it. That, that. I would have to say, if I had a chance to do any kind of uh, game soundtrack, that is, I would love to redo Symphony of the Night. That would be my... Yeah, that is a classic soundtrack, too, but, dude. But it, but Castlevania? Come on. Industrial yeah. feel to it, along with Fuck, the that is such a good question. Seriously. Oh. Mega Man? <laughs> I would love to industrialize a Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, track. I was gonna say Ninja Gaiden as well, yeah, but you know, right. I, I figured a, that that was right. gonna be yours, yeah. so mine would have to be. Because those those are metal tracks waiting to be turned okay, into yeah. metal. I, I actually mean. did think of one. Borderlands oh. didn't have much of a soundtrack oh. at all. Oh. They had just like a couple of tracks. Oh yeah, it could have used a little more. So I, I'd go with Borderlands. I'd like to. All right. I'd like to try right. my hand at that one, or at least uh, Borderlands Two. Mega Man One through Six. <laughs> really? Mega Man has one of the best soundtracks yeah. I ever. Don't disregard that. No, I, I would like to. Dr. Wiley? No, it was a great soundtrack. They said, what would you like to redo? Yeah. So I, I'm not saying I could do it better, but I, I would like... Those are my favorite games. That's All why, right. That's why I would love to remix like, something that I like. So it's not, that's amazing. I would love to just get a chance to industrialize it. Yeah. I think that'd be awesome. That would be cool. That would be right. I agree. Looks like Rick just took off. Took off so, uh, He's like, I'm bye, done. Rick. I'm over this shit. Fucking... Bye, Rick. Get some drink. Fucking <laughs> out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks to all the fans for supporting us because we know that what we do is definitely not accepted by all and we appreciate it tremendously because we, we love it and we're not going to stop anytime soon. Cool. And uh, Absolutely. A- absolutely. <laughs> Throw to the new album. Yeah. If you want to pick up our new album, it's on Vendetta and it's called Liquor, Drugs, and Hate and it's actually a new EP. Coma! Coma Magazine! Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Coma. Thank you for... One of the craziest interviews. 